Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my July 2021 BoxyCharm unboxing. I am so excited about this. It's so funny, I feel like the BoxyCharm boxes are getting smaller and smaller, but I do not mind. I have an embarrassing large pile of boxes next to where I film and it's, it's really out of control, but I love that BoxyCharm is getting smaller with their packaging and they're not putting in that foam anymore, which that foam is probably good to protect the products, but that foam is kind of annoying and I appreciate the smaller packaging. I think this is my $25 a month box, but let's open it to find out. Right on top, I have product information, yes. Not reading the product information yet because I want to be surprised, but I see five products. So this is the $25 a month beauty subscription box that comes with five full-size products. And I am so excited to see what I got. Let's just start pulling out some products. So first here, this might be from a brand that I am not familiar with. And I love learning about new makeup brands. I think this is from the brand Alleyoop Pen Pal 4-in-1 Makeup Pen in the shade Make a Mauve. How cool is this? Oh my goodness! Yep, the Alleyoop Pen Pal 4-in-1 Makeup Pen. Retail value of $25. What? Looks like there's like a pink a white, a black, and a brown. And can you twist them up? Yes! Oh, but you can't twist it back down, so gotta be careful. This is so cool and unique, and I am so excited about it. Well, if you were not already aware, I have a series here on YouTube where I try out a new makeup product every day. So I am saving the swatches and the tutorial and the review for the full dedicated review video that I'm going to do on this. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are interested in seeing that. I'll be doing reviews on all of the makeup products that I get in Ipsy and BoxyCharm this month. And of course, posting my unboxings as I get those in because I get both Ipsy boxes and both BoxyCharm boxes. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on all of that. But also be sure to let me know in the comments down below if there's any products that I get that you're extra interested in seeing me do reviews on first so that I can prioritize those. But then next up, I have a product from a brand that I also don't think I'm familiar with. Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Eye Serum Moisture Boost Vitamin Boost Feeding Nourishing Firming Reduces Dark Circles. I definitely need that. This is a huge eye serum. Wow. I mean, I love treating my under eyes. It's definitely a problem area for me. And I usually use eye creams, not eye serums. So this will be fun to try. Yeah, Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. Retail value of $63. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. I definitely prefer to get makeup, but when it's a type of skincare product that I don't have way too many of in my collection, like a cleanser, I have way too many of those, <laughs> and it's a high-end skincare product, I'm still really happy to get it. Next up I have here, oh, another serum, but for a different part, and this is hair, detox hair serum, nutrient plant scalp treatment. What? And this, I think this is from the brand The Lifestyle Co. How do you even use this? Part the hair into sections, apply one to two drops to each partition and massage into the scalp. Do not rinse out. The treatment should be applied after washing and before styling. Very interesting. I have not tried out a product like this, clearly, since I'm <laughs> confused by it, but I am very open to trying this out. I love a good scalp treatment, so cool. I'm very intrigued by the fact that it says to rub it into the scalp and not wash it out and to do it after washing. But it doesn't say if you do it on dry or wet hair. Hmm. It sounds really cool though. It says 
It soothes dry and itchy scalp and promotes healthy hair growth. It leaves your hair shiny and soft. Retail value of $79. That is crazy expensive, but so cool that I get to try it out for such a great deal. Next up, from the brand Bella Pierre Cosmetics, Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Are you kidding me? I, at this point, I'll say it, I hate getting liquid eyeliners and eyeliners in general that are black. I have gotten so many of them in my beauty subscriptions and I always put in my preferences that I don't want eyeliner and I don't want black eyeliner. So it's like such a bummer to get a black eyeliner at this point. So here is how it looks. I mean, I'll still try it out. I am familiar with the brand Bella Pierre. I think actually through Ipsy is how I became familiar with this brand, but it doesn't get much more boring of a makeup product in my opinion, just because like I also don't wear liquid eyeliner at all, especially a black liquid eyeliner. So it's not something that I'll really get use out of. But so the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner retails for $20. And then my fifth and final product in here is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's the Hydrating Complexion Trio. Oh, cute. I think I've actually tried out a very similar product, but I think it was a blush trio. So that's cool that I'll get to try out a, like looks like bronzer and highlighter, kind of like a contour palette. And so the Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio retails for $25. I'm also just noticing right in front of me here. So I got the black liquid eyeliner, but I also already got a black eyeliner pretty much. I mean, this one is way more exciting and way cooler because it has other colors in it, but it does still have a black eyeliner. So I got two black eyeliners this month and you already know what I, how I feel about black eyeliners. But so that kind of takes away on how much I would like this month's box because other than that, I got like a really expensive high-end hair product, really expensive skincare, and then three makeup products, which I feel like is a good mix of products and probably high retail value. So I'll do a recap and let you know my total retail value. All right, so I got the Lifestyle Co. Hair Serum, the Mud Masky Eye Serum, the Alleyoop Pen Pal Makeup Pen, the Bella Pierre Liquid Eyeliner, and the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Trio, bringing me to a total retail value of $212. That's amazing, considering I spent about $25 on this box. And aside from the liquid eyeliner, I am very excited to try out all of these products. If I had just gotten something different than that black liquid eyeliner, I would think that this is such an amazing box. And I mean, I haven't even tried out the black liquid eyeliner. Maybe it's amazing, which reminds me, if you have tried out any of these products, I'd also really love to hear in the comments down below your thoughts on them, because a lot of times that makes me more excited to try out the products. And I love getting some tips for when I do go to try them out. But so definitely let me know your thoughts on my box and your thoughts on your box and what you got in your July 2021 BoxyCharm box. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.